interested let's do this together let's collaborate and we do it together and we achieve the result that we want to hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time joining us here you're welcome and you see my video for the second time or you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate your time please don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and share a video that you like with a loved one or a friend all right on today's video we're going to be talking about how to improve your work ethic as an entrepreneur this is a quick follow-up to the last video i made which was common mistakes that entrepreneurs make in business okay i'll advise that if you've not seen that video you should quickly watch it i'm going to leave you linked up here all right watch that video then we can come back to this or you can watch this one and go back to that one any which way let's get right into this video now since we're talking about improving work ethic as an entrepreneur we first need to understand what that word work ethic is and to do that we need to first understand what work is work is any activity either mental or physical that you're putting in to get a result or to get a purpose or to achieve something right and morals or ethics which is morals in this point is a person's standard of belief or behavior of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable so this is very very personal and it differs from person to person all right what is acceptable to me might not be acceptable to you and you know regardless of the good or bad that we all know morals differ from person to person what one person wants to achieve or what one person believes is good might not necessarily be good to you so this is quite a personal thing that you need to identify and to know your work ethic is what you believe is achievable to you your work ethic is based off of your standard your belief what you want to achieve and what you believe is possible all right so your work ethic might differ from what my work ethic is so people don't want to have to work 24 hours a day i don't even think anybody wants to work 24 hours a day all right some people want to have to work three times three months in a year and they're done or some people want to go some people enjoy the nine to five some you know it differs what everybody wants is very very different and what is achievable and what is possible what is right what is good to so one person really differs from what is good to another so your work ethic is based off of your standards of belief based off of what you want to achieve and your vision now i'm going to share with you guys 16 steps you can use to improve your work ethic as an entrepreneur right and the first 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 one is to have a routine i'm a very strong believer in having a routine right i believe that if you don't know what you want to do or you don't prepare for your day or you don't prepare for anything basically or have a routine a routine in what you're doing you barely get the results that you want and when i mean have a routine you need to know oh as a, if you work from home i get up by eight o'clock by so so and so time i'm settled at my desk i'm getting work done i'm emailing clients i'm replying emails i'm posting on my instagram i'm creating content for my business i'm reaching out to new customers i'm reaching out to potential clients do you get you have to have a routine of what you're doing every time and this is why most big businesses and businesses that hire people to work nine to five there is a routine right you come into work at nine you leave by five o'clock you come into work at nine you leave by six o'clock you have to have a routine for your business to function properly and to and what this does for you that it cultivates and habits right it, the more you keep doing it the more you get used to it and once you have a routine and you understand that oh by six o'clock i'm getting up in the morning by 10 i'm at my desk i've resumed my work regardless of if you're working from home or you're going to an office or you're going to a cafe just have a routine understand itemize how your day is going to go every day and some people don't like structure you know you don't so you don't get bored cut out your, your routine doesn't have to be your entire day but when it comes to work have a routine daily or weekly or anyhow you want your work once you want your work to be three times a week four times a week just have a routine are you showing up to work four times a week are you showing up to work two times a week are you showing up to work three times a week whatever works for you but have a routine right and after having a routine you have to be consistent you have to be consistent you can't do it today and leave it tomorrow and not do it 
you have to show up every time whatever works for you if you say you're doing it weekly and then every week you have to show up if it's monthly if you're setting quarterly goals for yourself and you know to achieve these quarterly goals i have to show up every day then show up every day consistently regardless of what is happening and this is what having a routine does for you it helps you to be consistent it helps you to know that this is what i have to do let's take for example today i am literally not in the best of moods but i know that oh i have a video that i have to film and i want this video to go up as so and so time and this is what i want for my youtube channel and this is how i want you know this is this is what I, is required of me to grow my youtube channel and to do that i have to film videos and i have to post videos at least once a week and i'm trying to achieve two times a week and to do that i have to sit down and film videos constantly so that's what i'm doing now so you have to be consistent now you have to be prepared you always have to be prepared you can't just go into work or go into life just randomly and, <laughs> and not just know what you have to do you need to know that okay for, from a night before you need to know this is what i'm doing tomorrow if you're a let me say take for example you're a makeup artist right you have to know that you have to clean your brushes before you see a client your brushes have to always be clean so that if a client calls you you can attend to that client and your brushes are clean you don't get to the client's place and start to go to one corner and start to rush to clean your brushes so you always have to be prepared you preparation means different things to different businesses and i'm just giving examples that i can relate to but you have to be prepared either you prepare the night before a day before but you always have to be prepared so that when the opportunity comes it meets you prepared you don't just go back to start you know trying to organize yourself but when you're the most prepared person always wins whether you're writing exams whether you're going in for a meeting you're going in for a presentation you can't go in for a presentation and not have your powerpoint slides or not know what you want to say take for example this video as well i am prepared right i have my points written out here i've got i had to do a couple of research on the things i'm coming to say to you guys so i'm not just chatting right so what i'm chatting is actual facts and things that actually help you in your business or in your race as an entrepreneur so you always have to be prepared my fourth point is you always have to strive to do more strive to do more every day try to be better than who you were yesterday try to be better than what you were yesterday try to get better results than you got yesterday and i'm not talking push yourself to a place of burnout but you just try to do better even if it's a quarter better better or a tiny bit better or just a step forward and what this does that it accumulates and at the end of the day you find yourself achieving the long-term goals that you set for yourself by just taking tiny steps and just striving to do better than you did yesterday and just showing up and doing better than you did yesterday all this as i said little drops of water make a mighty ocean right now my next point is to do it now like do it now when i say do it now i mean stop procrastinating stop saying oh i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it do it now if you have to call a client call a client now if you have to send an email send an email now like do it now do it when it comes to your mind do it when you remember like do it at that point don't procrastinate put it in your routine ensure that you do it right have a to-do list have a routine but do it now stop procrastinating stop saying i'll do it tomorrow then tomorrow becomes the, the next to like the day after tomorrow and that's how in one month you've not done anything and you're just like oh my god i said i was going to do it yesterday or i said i was going to do it the day before and it's been a week now and i've not done it all right so just do it now do it as soon as you can do it then like when is the best time to start anything you want to start is right then send that email call that client reach out to that person do everything you want to do in that moment when you can do it and stop procrastinating all right the next point is to find a running mate when i find say find a running mate and you find a teammate find someone that holds you accountable and what this does for you is that this person keeps you going even on days when you don't feel like it it might be one person two people three people but just find a teammate right for example i started going to the gym and i have a team I have a gym body i know in my heart of my heart that if i didn't have a gym body i won't be showing up there every day but every day i've gone to the gym for the past three weeks or two weeks right this is because i have a gym but even on days when i don't feel like it when days when i feel like i'm so tired i don't want to do this today and she's just like yo get it on so you have to find people that share the same value as you and people that are willing to put in as much work as you are so that you guys can hold yourself account yourselves accountable and it's just it's just always a very beautiful experience when you have someone that holds you accountable when you have a teammate or a team partner 
somebody that just pushes you even on days when you don't feel like it right now my next point is to work smart but also work hard I know how a lot of people are just oh work smarter work smarter yes work smarter but you also have to work hard working smart does not erase the fact that you also have to work hard actually if you're in your early days you have to build so that you have something to fall back on you have to build so that your business gets to that point where you can delegate things to other people to do just working smart does not mean that you don't have to work hard your business gets to the point where you can leave things in the hands of other people and you have to build especially when you're in your early days you have to put in the work hours you have to put in the hard work you have to do what you have to do send emails reach out to clients create content if you're a one-man business create content do your accounts there's a lot that has to be done it seems like it's very hard but you have to do it right up till the point where your business can afford to pay other people to do these things for you i know it's very hard being an entrepreneur especially if you're a one-man business you're the accountant you're the photographer you're the creative designer set designer you're the social media manager you're everything in that business but you have to give it what is what is worth or what you have to because it's going to be worth it in the end now the next point is to cut distractions Right, actually in this period where a lot of us are working from home, you have to cut down distractions. Create a corner in your room, in your house, where you know you're standing up from your bed and you're going to your table to work. Most times when I have work to do, I'm on this table and I'm doing what I have to do or I go to the living room. Sometimes I even know that I can't work from home and I just go to a cafe to get my work done. Now you have to cut out distraction. If you have kids, make sure that at, like the time even if it's one hour where you want to work your kids are not running around they're not screaming mommy now just give your time yourself one hour two hours max in a day of full concentration to just get your work done cut out as many distractions as you can plug in your ears if you have to listen to like music that's not distracting of course and just focus on what you have to do for that day but cut down distractions as much as you can and this would help you to improve and the thing about improving is one day the next day gets better the day after gets better and before you know it you're achieving the things that you want to achieve or you you are that person that you you imagined yourself being like a while back now next thing is you have to be able to absolutely focus i know focusing is hard very hard especially for someone like me i can't sit still for long i cannot sit still for long and i know that and i understand that about myself and i know that this is how i work this is what works for me i give myself 20 to 25 minutes of maximum focus and i let myself play or do something else or just distract myself and i come back 20 to 25 minutes and this works for me even when i'm reading for exams or i'm trying to get work done i'm trying to edit whatever i'm doing i can't focus for a long time i cannot do it so the, you just first understand yourself and know what works for you then create a routine or create something around what works for you if you can focus for a long time then fine why not give yourself one hour stretch and go for it for someone like me or for people like me that can't focus for a stretch do 30 minutes take a break 30 minutes take a break or 25 minutes take a break 20 minutes take a break and what you're doing for yourself by doing this is by that 20 minutes when you're taking a break and you're coming back you're feeling a lot more refreshed and you know you have more energy to put into the work that you're doing rather than just forcing yourself to actually just sit there and focus when in truth you know that you're not focusing and you know that you're not doing what you're supposed to do or your mind has wondered or you're pressing your phone but of course cutting distraction is drop your phone remove notifications why are you having notifications from all the apps on your phone when you're working and everything is just bang 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 put your phone on silent or put it on dnd or put your phone away totally whatever works for you if you're working on your phone put up notification on different apps on, on and just leave the ones on important apps on so that you can actually get the results that you're looking for the next point is to have a to-do list yes have a to-do list write out everything you want to achieve every day maybe a day before right now you want to achieve the next day and prioritize what you want to do have a list of everything you want to do and it's not just work wise even as much as doing laundry sweeping whatever it is you want to do write it down after writing it down look at your list and pick the three things that are priority to you from that list and ensure that the next day you start from those things that are important to you right and what this does is 
when you prioritize and you can see this is what is important this is what i have to get done and you start from that first one ensure that you finish it and you knock it out completely before you move on to the next and even if you don't you don't go through the entire three in that first day the next day you start from the second one but ensure to have a to-do list and to prioritize on your to-do list the next thing that i find very useful as well is to find your weak spot when you find your weak spot when you can identify your weak spot it helps you to even put in more work or to focus on the area of your strength right for someone like me there's certain things i can't do on my own i need a teammate for it or i need a partner for it and i know that there's some things i cannot do on my own i know that very clearly so when those kind of businesses come my way or those kind of ideas come my way i don't even bother trying to push it to the extreme i just find one of my friends that i know is very good in that area and i hit them up i'm like yo this this is what i want I have in mind so what I, what I want to do are you interested let's do this together let's collaborate and we do it together and we achieve the result that we want to rather than me pushing for things where for things that are not really my strong point and wasting time that I could use to do other things on those things that are not my strong point so find your weak spots if you're not at a place where you can get help collaborate if you're not at a place where you can collaborate start to build on your strength first or start to or try to start developing your weakness right by either by taking courses watching videos making research or just doing things that actually improve these weaknesses that you have now the next thing is to cut out on productive work sometimes you show up to when i say work i mean like the environment where you're working or to your business and you're doing every other thing but being productive cut out the unnecessary work cut it out completely and focus on being productive even if it's for two hours that day two hours in five working days is 10 hours in a week right and 10 hours in a week is 40 hours in a month so but just ensure that in this time that you've prepared for yourself to work you're actually being productive cut out all the unnecessary work the things that you know that they don't really matter and this this is still from like your to-do list right just focus on the things that that matters focus on the things that are priority to you for that day another point is to drop the perfectionist in you yes most time you're not doing anything because you're trying to do it perfectly and see nobody is perfect from the start nobody's perfect from the start you make mistake i'll make mistake every other person that started anything made mistake before they became what they were or before they started they achieved the level of excellence that they are at so drop the perfectionist in you and start from somewhere it's good it's good to aim to, aim to be perfect but nobody is perfect right just strive to get the best that you can in that moment and if you're not doing it as as well as you think that you're supposed to go and do research go and watch a youtube video google it youtube is a university everything that you need every resource that you need is there maximize it maximize it to the best of your ability but drop the perfectionist act and stop saying oh maybe by tomorrow or when i have this just start just do what you have to do and drop the perfectionist now my second to the last point which is very important is to avoid burnout find an escape for yourself you know just know that oh, on this particular day i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to stay and watch a youtube video watch youtube videos which is for me that's my escape i would watch tons of vlogs and tons of people on their channel talking about whatever and in that moment i'm actually not doing research i'm just enjoying content so find your own escape if it's going to the movies or hanging out with your friends whatever it is but just do something that I've, that would help you avoid burnout because at the end of the day if you keep pushing continuously and you're not taking time to rest or to reset or to even take time out to just look at what you're doing you're not being productive and you're not doing yourself the best that you think that you're doing right so to find an escape just relax i have a friend that her favorite words i'm going on a break and she knows that if she's putting in this two weeks into work she's putting in her best and at the end of that two weeks see shout out to you kenny kenny will pack every pack up everything and go on a break and she go and reset re-energize herself and come back to work and nobody works harder than this girl and nobody gets more result than this girl she's such a hard worker and a smart worker as well so avoid burnout to the best of your ability avoid burnout avoid burnout it doesn't help you it doesn't help you it doesn't help your business it doesn't help anybody so avoid burnout and the last point on this video is to reward yourself yay 
Reward yourself for pushing. Reward yourself for achieving the goals that you set for yourself. Reward yourself for doing the things that you said you were going to do. When you hit a, like maybe you, you hit your quarterly goal or you meet, hit your monthly goal, buy yourself a little something, take yourself out, do something nice for yourself. It doesn't have to be gifts or anything. Just do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself to something. Reward yourself. It helps you to strive to do better because you know the reward that you're going to get at the end of it, at the end of everything, right? So it's, just reward yourself with something buy yourself that bag buy yourself that shoe buy yourself that dress but attach it to something like, oh because i achieved this thing i deserve this right so just reward yourself from time to time it helps you to put in more work and helps you to feel i don't know what the word is just like when somebody gives you something right so just give yourself something for achieving what you said you were going to achieve and that brings us to the end of today's video i hope that You've been able to pick out a point or two that would help you to improve your work ethic as an entrepreneur or something that would just help you in your business life in your daily life anything and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section share this video with your friends and your loved ones let me know any other topic as regarding business or being an entrepreneur you would like me to talk about let me know if this video has helped you in any way just drop a comment encourage your girl to keep going and until i come your way next time is your girl Shedda. Love and life.